Hello, hello. How are you? How are you? How are you? Welcome to the People Girl Show. <laughs> hey, I'm going to be, um, I'm just going to post my link in here. I'm going to do something different today. I'm going to do a fire and ice challenge, which means I'm going to uh, do half of my makeup with like a fire theme and then half my makeup with like an ice or water theme okay so it means like half of the face will be like shades of red and half of the face will be like shades of blue okay so we'll see if we'll see if i can do it um i i'm, I'm gonna use a bunch of different things some stuff will be a, a lot of most of it will be avon but you know there's some things that I, i'm gonna have to borrow from a few other <laughs> hey how are you hey cat how are you i just gotta get a little foundation on here a little more a little more um and because uh, i'm doing a lot of heavy stuff i'm doing a actually this is a nyx stick um and it's um it's a mineral uh stick that i use sometimes when i do heavier stuff so i just wanted to play around a little bit with that I am good. I'm good. I'm kind of have like like a uh, kind of having like a uh, I'd just say a kind of a middle of the week kind of blah day, but so I wanted to. I saw this challenge, so I wanted to uh, kind of spice things up. So, like literally everything on this side is going to be shades of red, and everything on this side is going to be shades of blue. So what I'm going to do is uh, just to get things started. I'm going to do some, I think I'm going to do one brow is going to be like a blue and the other brow is going to be like a red. <laughs> Let's have some fun here. <laughs> and just to get it started, <laughs> but I'm trying to see if I have like a navy blue. Do I have a navy navy? Do I have a navy? I have a bluish green. Oh, but I do, I do, I do. I have this blue that's in this Avon palette. And then, uh, do I have, and I also have this. I mean, like, it's kind of similar, but a little bit more. I've got this one in this palette. And those two, these two are from, you can get them on the outlet. I don't know if they still have this one, but I did see this one recently. This was from last, um, it comes in a Christmas theme box, but it's still like very, it's still for sale and the, you know, products are still fresh. It just, you know, has this, and it has this like vintage-y kind of look. So I'm going to do this blue. <laughs> I'm going to use them a lot. <laughs> um, I'm going to do this blue on my brows. And I'm going to use some different brushes. Hang on, let me grab them. I'm going to use some different brushes that I have. You're going to go to the store afterwards. <laughs> I could, I could. I could be a good walking advertisement. Check this out. Yeah. Uh -huh. It would be fun if I had like some kind of wild outfit that was like half red and half blue or something. <laughs> but I don't. I don't. I don't have anything like that. Alright, so I've got, I used up about half of my customer brushes the other day when I did that prom uh, girl, so I'm going to do, use up the rest of them so that I can just wash the whole set. Yes, because I've got like these from my prom set, these from my prom set that I still have to wash that I set aside, and then I've got like the other half. This was a Shaney set. That I got from Amazon. Hey Ashley, who are you? This was a Shaney set I got from Amazon. And um oh I just dropped something. Of course I dropped something. Um anyway, so I that's this is the set I usually use on uh customers. I always have a separate set that I use on customers when I do makeup customers, but because I didn't use a whole set and I'm I'm kinda like crazy when it comes to stuff like that. I wanna um um do use them all up and then clean them all. <laughs> all right, so this is like a dark blue. You can't really see the blue much. But I'll add a little bit more. <laughs> add more. And it's almost like a deep navy, really. But I'll add a little bit more blue to it. You can see there's a little sparkle in there. 
me try the other one. Let's see if the other one will show up a little more as the with the blue. Oh, there we go. Fourth of July outfit wear red. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Good idea. Good idea. Good idea. I just need to go somewhere. <laughs> I just need to go somewhere and do something. Before the July. We have not been... It gets so... Well, actually, we were thinking of going going and doing something, like taking a long weekend or something. My husband's going to be off, and the way the weekend is... Um, it's kind of like in the middle, or is it Thursday? So he, he teleworks on Wednesday, so like he's home, like today. So, and then we were thinking maybe we'll go away somewhere, but we shall see. All right, now do I have a red red? Okay. And, um, okay, do I have, but I do have a bright blue in my NYX palette. Okay, so let's do, pump this blue up a little bit more with this from, this is one of the off, off tropic. Make this a deep blue. I think about it just done straight this and not that but I kind of want to have it still sort of look semi-realistic <laughs> okay and what I think I'll do is I'll do that same contour shading Let's take that dark blue. I think for me, the dark blue will be easier to do. Let's take this super dark blue. Do this as the contour. <laughs> it's gonna be really wild. I'll do the two darkest things first. Do this here. <laughs> and it's been a while since I did something funky like this. So, hey Michelle, how are ya? Just a little bit, kind of blend this in a little bit more. My phone is going crazy. I have this group that I tweet with. Um, and one of them's on here too on Facebook. But she's on Twitter right now. And it's like a whole group of people who, who tweet about soap operas. And they must be all watching at the same time. Or, whoops. Oh, I put, see, I'm so used to using the same color on both. Uh, that's going to be the red side. All right, so I got to. See, it's so easy to do. And see, this is this is why it's a challenge. All right, now I'm going to fix that there. All right. It's so easy to just take the same color on both sides. I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm trying to do this fire and ice thing, but it is challenging because you want to do the same color. All right, so let's do this bright blue here. And that's sort of like a blush. <laughs> this bright blue turquoise. And then I also have this green. I have this gorgeous, this gorgeous green, turquoisey green. This is from our On the Vine palette. Yeah, that's good. That's what I want to have. Some bl deep blues and greens. <laughs> On this side. All right, now to do the other side. Now, do I have a deep red? Do I have a deep red? Yeah. Ooh, I think I know I have like this deep, deep purpley burgundy with this. Maybe I've got another one over here. Ooh, yes, okay. It's kind of like a purpley brown. I'm going to do that with this on it. So i got to take another brush because I got that brush had all that dark blue on it. So this is kind of fun. <laughs> you have to really think. Looks like a bruise. Yeah. Well, it's it's not none of it looks is going to look normal. <laughs> One side and then I'm going to do like a light, you know, like a highlight and all that, but it's like a blue. It's half on one side is red is the fire and the other half is is the ice. So, it's sort of like doing None of it looks natural. None of it looks like anything it's supposed to look. 
But, you know, these are the challenge. That's the challenge, you know. That is the challenge. And the hardest thing is just the habit of just doing, taking the, that one tool that's got the same color on it, wanting to go over with the other eye. So, I guess I should have some, I wish I had some music on or something. Well, I'm deep in thought here because it's much harder. <laughs> Um, it's much harder to, when you're doing something like this, then, um, let me cut this light back. Much harder than just doing something that comes naturally, you know. It comes naturally when you're doing something that's, that you know how to do, you know, than when you're challenged. <laughs> but, you know, I, I like challenging myself, you know, that's what's, it's important to challenge ourselves because if we don't challenge ourselves and we stay stuck in ruts, you know, we stay stuck. All right, so I'm going to go to our blush and I'm going to go over that one, like what I did with the that blue over here. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to go back to this dark stuff over here. And I'm going to do that dark here. And this is going to take a while because this is like multiple layers of <laughs> multiple layers <laughs> to get it what I'm trying to do. Oh, so I like, thought he's talking to me. <laughs> of course, I just picked up something with the blue in it. Okay, well, I need another brush blush. All right. All right, I'm going to try and shut the door. <laughs> okay. My husband is on the phone with somebody, and I can hear this whole conversation. All right, so now get some red on here. Let's get some red. <clears throat> Go back over here to this color. Okay. So at least it matches. It's going to match. Everything has to match side to side. Okay, so let me just blend this side a little bit more. Do a little more of the bright blue on that other side. <laughs> it's like you really have to think. I have to think because I'm used to always having one tool for one color and one tool for another color. And I've got like, now I have like two tool, two of these for the blue and two of these for the red. And <laughs> make sure I'm not picking up the other thing. Well, I have to use a whole bunch more. So, so far, I'm already starting to get the feel of it. <laughs> the feel of the fire and ice is reminding me of, what is it? General Hospital. <laughs> Every time somebody says fire and ice, I think of the, is it a fire and ice ball, the nurse's ball. I haven't watched General Hospital in a really long time, but <laughs> if you watch it, light press powder. All right. Got to do a little pressed powder. I don't know how I'm going to contour. I guess one side I'll contour with blue and the other side I'll contour with red. <laughs> Is this the blue side? No. All right. Where's the one? I have to pick up everything and then test it. All right. So I'm going to have to do this side. That's a little bit of blue. <laughs> this side's going to look sort of more mermaidy, and this side's going to look more like, um, I don't know what. <laughs> But, you know, that's the fun part of it. <laughs> a challenge. And you have to think. You have to go back and forth. And you can't go back and forth with the same thing. 
Okay, so this already looks like it looks like strawberry vanilla. <laughs> okay. So let's do a little bit of a little bit of powder here. I'm gonna take every piece of makeup with the kitchen sink in this. <laughs> get this right <laughs> sometimes it's just easier to just blend it with me <laughs> okay Alrighty, now let's do some highlight. Now this side, I want this side to be a light shimmery blue, which I think I'm going to take from my Anastasia. I'm taking from everybody here to do this. And this I'm going to do blue, I think I'm going to do this blue ice color. And here. So once you blend in, see once you blend in a little bit of highlight, it looks less... It looks more mermaidy. <laughs> it's different seeing it on a fifty-four-year-old face than when you see some twenty-four-year-old on well, twenty-four-year-old face <laughs> when you're doing stuff like this. But okay, so now I'm gonna take another brush. Actually, I'm just going to take a cotton ball. All right, now for this side, I'm going to do pink heart because that's more the, the pinkier one. And maybe I'll put in a little more orange. Because this looks more like Valentine and St. Patrick's Day <laughs> as opposed to fire and ice. <laughs> But just seeing myself with something different. <laughs> you know, I get bored of always doing the same stuff all the time. All right, what I want to do is wear some real red. Here we go. And this is one of our crayons, our lip crayons. Now the lip crayons are really popular, but then for whatever reason, they're sort of phasing them out. So these can only be found in the outlet section of my website. I'm gonna go back to this, back to this point. I'm gonna have to do a brush cleaning video after this. <laughs> Clean everything. And do a little more of this blue over here. Oh, Did you hear that? That was the dog sneezing. <laughs> that was Peppa sneezing. <laughs> Poor Peppa sneezing. Okay. That's on the point. All right, now, do I have a... Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I have this minty. It's real pretty minty. Let's see if I can play around with this minty. The only problem when I have my hair back like this, the hair tickles my ears and I just, oh my God. That's the only thing. I was, I had short hair for years, for years. And then when I grew it out, it was so overwhelming because it, the tickles, <laughs> anybody know what I'm talking about? It's so irritating. And it's one of the things that a lot of people who wear their hair short, just you, it's very easy to go back to short because your hair just tickles, tickles, constantly. <laughs> But it's it's sometimes you'll be like, is something crawling me? No, it's just a just a piece of hair that just like drives you crazy. <laughs> yeah. Blend this in a little bit better. Something fun. 
Hey Jennifer, how are you? Serious brush cleaning indeed, yeah, yeah. I'm doing a fire and ice, I'm trying to do this fire and ice face. And let me tell you, it's so easy to when you're doing one side to go over, even if you're doing a funky color. And I have to remind myself, no, I'm not doing that, that, that I'm doing this side with a different color. So it's like this side will be like all blues and greens and this side's like going to be all reds and oranges and pinks. <laughs> just for fun, just for fun. <laughs> Just for fun. All right, now let's see if I can do um, a little. I'm gonna do take this blue on this side and do a lip liner here with this navy blue from our that winter palette, and then do that red on that the other side. <laughs> Hey Stephanie, how are you? And it's gonna be a slow. There'll be a lot of a lot of people coming and going on here tonight. <laughs> yeah, this is a good like. It's one of those art artsy things. Artsy uh, creations. But it's always good to challenge yourself, you know. If you don't challenge yourself. You gotta, then you, it's like you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know that you, I wouldn't know that I could do something like this, you know. So, all right, let's take another brush and let's go to back over to that red that I was using. The next palette. That deep red. And then I'll fill this in with a brighter and then go to like a yellow. Oh, that's right, I'm missing a little yellow in here too. Yellow and maybe more yellow on this side, like golds and um, but oh, build up to all that. <laughs> That's everybody watching these days. Um, and I, I know, I know a lot of people are into thrones, but I'm, I'm not into thrones so. I'm one of the few people in the world that was not into Game of Thrones. I watched it one episode, and I was like, you know what? My life does not need this. <laughs> it does not need that level of harshness. The world does not need it. But I know a lot of people watch a lot of those shows because they're like, dealing with so much stuff in reality that you can act, you watch that stuff because you're like, oh, I really want to kill that person. You watch a show like that, and people are killing each other. And like, you kind of get it out of your system. But I'm like, I'm like, no, no, no. The world is harsh enough. I don't need that. In I don't need to bring that in <laughs> energy. But that's me, you know. <laughs> and same thing with Walking Dead. I don't, I'm not, I, don't, I don't do any of that. I don't do that. I did do True Blood. I was just talking about that late last night with a fellow True Blood fan. I did do that show, but I don't usually, I don't usually do all the dark stuff, but I do like, you know, I was a Buffy, I was Buffy, I was dark when it was a little, when the dark stuff wasn't quite so dark. All right, I'm going to go, let's do some, add a little more orange in here. So I guess I'm just a poser, I'm just a poser, <laughs> but it's okay. All right, let's do some. Is that red? Now this red was called Rosa She Juiced. Oh, just Rosie. I was reading the French. <laughs> Rosa She Juiced. Just Rosie. And so. <laughs> How's everybody doing? <laughs> like that time I did that mask. How's everybody doing tonight? <laughs> the face mask on. <laughs> oh, that, that those there's something about those sheet masks just cracked me up. I was happening to watch another person's sheet mask video, and I was just laughing from seeing her too. <laughs> I don't know. There's something about those sheet masks. <laughs> there's something about those sheet masks that strike me funny, and when I see people in them. All right, now I'm gonna add a little bit of this green in here, and then. A little more green, a little bit more red. I haven't even gotten the eyes yet. All right, now, what, how, where's the blue? Oh, let's do this bright blue again. Am I blue? Here we go. Let's get, see. <laughs> oh, it's really starting to, 
see if I'd have done that first on my brows. Maybe I'll go, I'll go over. Well, this I'm also going to use on my eyes, too. <laughs> okay, maybe a little bit more of this blue. It's kind of fun. Yeah, it's starting to look like something now. Is she crazy? <laughs> Is she crazy? I actually kind of like that when it's like half. And we're all. I guess it's sort of like fire and ice and passion and being cool, calm. And what else? What else? How else would you. Um, good and evil, I guess. And. <laughs> okay. Let's see, do I have another? Oh, yeah, here's a little brighter. Sort of reminding it like a Harlequin. <laughs> And not a Harlequin romance either. A, a real Harlequin. A Harlequin romance. Okay, just do a little bit. This is um, Adoring Love lipstick. The Avon Adoring Love lipstick. That I'm, Yeah, there we go. Punching that up a little bit. So I wanted to have an equal, equal amount of punch on one side. Equal amount of intensity on one side than the other. <laughs> That's really wild. <laughs> Maybe I should have my husband come in and help me with it. <laughs> you get a kick out of it. <laughs> oh. Okay, now I know what I need. I need to wet down this. Um. Powder. <sighs> wet down this brush a little bit. With the setting spray. And then I'm going to go in. There we go. Do a little bit more of light so that that looks more like it makes sense. If you ever want to make your powder be a little bit more like a foundation is and I like doing it with powder sometimes just a little bit more than um I feel like I can well you can do it with foundation you can do it with concealer you can do it with a lot of things I always forget to do this spot I don't know why I feel like I need something a little bit deeper in there. I feel like that, this side is, this side needs, this looks too normal. <laughs> looks too more like a normal blush. Let's add a little bit more. We can't look too normal around here. Yeah. Yeah. And then have it blend out. See, my natural tendency was one to go over here. <laughs> Because when we when we always are used to doing two sides, so that that's the cha that's the real challenge. Not that you can see yourself looking this wacky, <laughs> but when you but when you uh, when you <laughs> when you just naturally out of habit go from one to the other. Now some people I think do one, all one side. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's get a little my primer. My primer.
Well, you know, you see stuff online, and you're like, hey, I could do that, I could do that. Or then you think, well, you know, maybe. <laughs> it's very different when you're doing on a 54-year-old face. Let me tell you, when you're doing makeup on a young girl, it's like their eyebrows haven't, lo they haven't lost their eyebrows yet, and their lashes are naturally long, and, you know, it's like, um, they don't have the issues that somebody middle-aged has in terms of, like, with, with me, I'm 54 years old, I'm having to create a whole big brow. I'm ha when I was young, I had a nice thick brow, but over time, you know, medication and aging and just life changes things, and, um, you know, it's not there. Okay, so let's do, go back to what I did with the dark but when you're when you're young, you haven't had you know it's not just it's not just aging in the normal way. It's like me, like right now, I have a lot of these. This is something that runs in my family. They're actually like sebaceous. It's not even they're not pimples and they're not they're kind of like a mole, um, but it's not like a normal mole even. Um, so and we get them as we get older. So um, so. They come and go, too. So now I'm taking the blue from that Avon palette. And so those things happen when you get older, even if you don't expect. Or sometimes your nose grows as you get older, and things aren't as balanced. And um, Okay. All right, so I'm going to do this. Fire and eyes. You come on like a flame. Like a da 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 da. However, that song goes. Fire and eyes. And it's okay if you can't stay for the whole thing. But it's fun if you can't stay, but if you tune back later on to see how how it all works out. <laughs> how it all works out. Okay, back to the blush over here. I'll use one of the things that I knew. To the blush kit. This blush kit is really one of my favorites. This is the one the retro. It's the retro set because it's made to look like what the blushes and the uh, soaps, Avon soaps, and the Avon lip glosses look like in like the 60s, 70s. Look at that. All right. No. Where's that blue? Oh, it's in this other one. Okay. Back to this off tropic blue. But I end up using every. <laughs> every. <laughs> Just about every blush and every kit and every. Oh, I know. This is still a little more green over here. Let's add a little bit more of this. Yeah. I like the mix of the green and the blue. What do you think? <laughs>
because I want to have an equal amount of wing from one to the other. All right, now, blue, we're going to blue to, oh, here's a shimmery blue. Here's a, yeah, no, that's more gray. I need a frosty, do I have a frosty blue in my Juvia's? Ah, yes, okay. Juvia's, please. There we go. There. And I'm going to add a little bit of the Avon green from our uh, On the Vine. And they always come with these always come with the little sponge things right there, which is really convenient, but when you're using brushes, they always fall out so right there. So I'll use a little of that too. There we go. Looks very peacock. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of that here. Um, sorry, I had a phone call. <laughs> ridiculous, ridiculous. How dare they call me when I'm in the middle of a tutorial? <laughs> How dare they call me when I'm trying to do this? All right, I'm going to add a little bit of this orange blush here. Orangey tone. It has a shimmer to it, similar to this. Yeah, that looks a little more fire. Let's see, do I have a really, I'm looking for a really, something that's like, Oh, yes. This papel, it's like a really pretty. This looks like, this looks like fur. Looks like a fur. There we go. See, I naturally wanted to go over there. <laughs> There we go, warming that up. It's really fun. It's really fun to do something out of your box once in a while. You know, it's really fun. It's really different. It's really unusual. It's really fun to see yourself in a different way. You know, it's kind of like, it's kind of like something that's where you just say, like, I don't care. <laughs> you know? You just say I don't care, and it, I wanna I wanna risk it. I wanna try, and um, if we don't try, wait, there's one little thing here. If we don't try, to go out of our box sometimes, then we just stay stuck, you know. And this also expands my. Um, knowledge because my skills you know because it's a test it's a test can you stay on course on this side can you do all these brushes on this side can you do all keep all the blues together on that side can you do can you keep this can you keep that you know and so far i am but <laughs> Miscuous blue.
It's really fun. If you have not tried something like this, I, I suggest you try it just for just just for kicks. Okay, so I'm gonna go to this gold that's in this palette. I don't know, that's probably what I should have done first instead of going to the pink. But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay because we are it's all an experiment. And really, there's no real mistake that you can't get yourself out of, you know? You need to feel more free. Feel more experimental. Bring that around here. <laughs> Which do you like that? Oh, maybe there's a little. Okay, I now see it. Okay, that sign needs to come down a little bit more. It's definitely different when you're doing on an older face. <laughs> Yeah, see, I'm pulling it together. I'm pulling it together. <laughs> I am pulling it together. All right, now I need a pale. Frosty blue. That is something what I really need is a super pale frosty, frosty blue. Frosty, frosty, frosty. That is what I need. Now, do I have one? That is the question. Do I have one in? Okay, that's champagne. This is the purple. Yeah, purple and the pink. There are a lot of different shades here. For someone who's just been selling since March. Okay, these are the grays. So aren't these pretty? If you want all different shades of gray. And there's some special deals. You can get like... Um, a mascara and a palette like this and a pencil um, for I think like $13 $13 $13 $13 you know or if I was a frosty shade of blue would I be in this nope too natural if I were a frosty shade of blue, would I be in this? You know, the problem is that people got so far away from that chalky... Hey, honey! <laughs> that chalky shade of blue that was so out of style. Ooh, and there's some... There's some sparkle. We can have fun with a sparkle. <laughs> Let's do the sparkle. Yeah, you can add some of that. Add some of this. This is, I think I got this. Where did I get this from? This is Essence. Okay, and then here is an iridescent sparkle. Spackle. Is it a spackle or is it a sparkle? <laughs> And this, I'll do the gold. I can hear somebody vacuuming. I'm doing a lot of stuff. <laughs> it's going well. <laughs> Honey, you want to come in and look? I'm almost done, but it, it's really fun. Doing a fire nice. 
<laughs> Even the dog's excited. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna do some lashes. Still wanna do, okay, this is driving me crazy because this was a dark blue, so it looks darker. I need a really, really deep, deep red. Go back to this brown. Maybe, you see, I did, isn't this well? <laughs> it's fire and ice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you should come to the nice film meetup like that. Oh, <laughs> oh that's right, tonight's the film meetup. What, yeah. time, what time are you going? I'm leaving at 6. Oh, okay. What time is it now? Um, 4.40. Oh, okay. Okay, so you want to eat before you go? No. Oh, you're going to eat it there? I'll eat there. Okay, okay, good. Okay. All righty, that's good. I can make myself a salad. <laughs> All righty. All right, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this red here. You can have your salad. I'll have some Neapolitan pizza. Ugh. So that means my salad will be on. Yeah, on your pizza, that's right. <laughs> okay, this is our coal liner. Just giving a little bit of depth, more depth there. To match this side, because this side had a little bit more depth. And then I'm going to do some lashes. Do some lashes. <laughs> All right, let's do some lashes. Now, if you are a kind of person who likes uh, your lashes to be more on the natural side, you will like mascaras that have this kind of brush. I'm d using this as a base, kind of, for putting on a thicker mascara. So, yes, if you're just coming on, I did an opposite face. This is fire and this is ice. <laughs> fire and ice. You come on like a plane. <laughs> All right, so this I'm just sort of laying this down because for me this is just a little. It's more of a natural kind of a lash. And the same thing with the love at first lash is a little bit more punch than this one, but the. To me, the big and daring, and the other one that's big and something, I can't remember, but it's gray, but it's big. They have this shape, and the brush has is a curved brush, and that works better on my shape of eyes and my level of lashes. I don't know if you can hear that. They've been working all day, and this noise is driving me crazy. So... Mascara makes a huge difference with this kind of look because you need like dramatic, you know. I am wearing a t-shirt. I'm actually wearing a t-shirt with my husband's picture on it. <laughs> it's a picture from when he was in a movie. He was in a movie, um, a Star Wars fan film that actually got some a couple won a couple of awards, and he went to some uh, sci-fi film festivals and stuff. He was, you know, uh, it was a, a full cast. And everybody got to have their picture on a t-shirt and stuff. So he got this. So it's very cute. Very cute. And we got to be at some local conventions and got to get in for free. And he was in a panel, like a question and answer panel. Well, people could ask him about the movie and all that kind of stuff. So that was fun. That was, what, 2015? It's hard to believe that was four years ago. You can go on... Uh, YouTube and uh, find his stuff. This one was called Dark Awakening, a Star Wars fan film. Um, there's another one he was in, uh, Dirt Old Superstition. He played like a college jock in that. And um, what else? He's done, done a bunch of different things. Lots of indie, indie, 
He's also been on a few, if you ever watch ID Discovery, he's played cops in a few of those, um, Who the Bleep Did I Marry, that TV show. Uh, the Discovery is based here, or was based here. It just moved, it just left the D.C. area, went back to New York. But for a good 10 years here, or maybe even longer, I can't remember, maybe, maybe 15 um, the Discovery Channel, like the Learning Channel and Discovery, all that was based in, in, um, in our area, um, in our, well, this county, it's, it's kind of like a half hour, 45 minute drive from here, but he, that's near where he worked, so he worked right next to that building, so if they had auditions or stuff, so, um. So, yeah, it's fun to be with someone who, like, appreciates this kind of art and likes different stuff and, um, you know, he likes, he likes funky stuff. <laughs> He's not coming home going, what are you doing? <laughs> He's like, oh, awesome. Hey, Shannon, how are you? Long time to talk. Long time no talk. So lashes make a huge difference with this kind of one because you need that extra punch of um full lash. <laughs> okay, so now let's see if I go back over to this. This is the super extend. But I really believe this by itself is super extend if you like a very soft natural. If you like a lot of super, almost like a false lash look, then you like hey, then you'd like the um then you'd like the big and daring. So I sort of like do what I do with other brands of mascaras where it was layering, but you know, a lot of people don't realize, but with the Avon the the, the mascara is you know, eight dollars. Five ninety nine. Buy one get one. Sometimes they're on sale. Buy one get one half off. When you can get two mascaras for under twelve under twelve dollar. Sometimes. Okay. I think what I'm gonna do is gonna add a little bit of this. Anastasia. Anastasia. And a little more punch over here. And I'm going to take this gold and punch it up there so it looks a little more fire. Fire! <laughs> fire and ice! And let's see if there's anything else I want to do. Anything else that is. Oh, I know. Maybe a little bit of this. Nope, that's all. A little bit of this is a naked, yeah, naked cosmetics was was the boxy charm. Let's add a little bit of this orange. Sometimes it's fun to add just a little bit. There we go. So I got my this. I need to blend it a little bit better. This blue. What? What? It's like almost five o'clock, and they're still out there doing stuff. It's like, come on now, you know. This complex isn't that big for them to be. I mean, I'm glad on one hand they did not wake me up in the morning because sometimes you know how yard work. Sometimes you're like <laughs> six thirty in the morning. Oh, I'm supposed to get up at seven. Thanks for waking me up. <laughs> I think that's the, that's the challenge to not go to the other side. Of course, where these stupid moles are, and that's where the problem is. There we go. That looks better. Okay. I want to have it be the same level of what? Opacity? <laughs> opacity. And I got a red. Oh, there's a red over here. There is red over here in my one of my other. I have two off tropics by NYX. 
And they're both super, super bright. One has more warmer tones, and the other, there we go, and the other has more cooler tones. So that's why, that's why I was inspired to do this, because one is more, um, I have been doing very good. One, uh, one is more very cool, and the other is more warm. So that's where you can get the fire and the ice, you know. <laughs> I think we're all a little bit of, you know, fire and ice sometimes. Okay, let's. Yeah, a little more depth here. There we go. So, I'll add a little bit more. Where is the, oh, there's that gold. Okay. It's like when you're so spread out, it's like there's a million different colors there. <laughs> A million different colors, and I'm like, what am I grab? What am I grabbing at again? Okay, a little bit of the yellow from this is this is an this is an Avon palette. This is from last year's Christmas palette, but I'm right under boy right by my window. Like they need to plant more stuff instead of take stuff away. It's not like it doesn't. It's not really all that bushy out there, but you know. Thank goodness for condo fees, because I'm not the one out there doing it. <laughs> oh. Alrighty. So what do you think? It's like mermaid. <laughs> Maybe I need to do a little more blue here. Let's do a little more of that. A little more blue. A little more of a deeper. And a blue. I've got so many brushes here for so many things. I'm using the blue right there from this. Kind of match that wing that's out like that. Back to that one. Add a little bit. Maybe a little bit more here. There we go. Kind of make a little bit more of a real contour here. I had it that way first, but somehow it looked messy, so then I blended it more. But the problem is, is this side is where I have all these, all my uh, moles that I would do anything to not be there and get removed. Uh, that's gonna be the next project. <laughs> get some, get, try our facial peels and see how they work. And see if they kind of help dissolve those guys. So, but you don't have to have perfect skin to do this. I mean, the fact that I'm doing this, I don't have perfect skin. I wish I did, but you know, uh, it's just nice. To, it's fun to be able to to try some new things, even when, even if you're not, you know perfect we're all worried about oh i can't do that because i'm not perfect I can't do this i'm not perfect but you know what uh, if not now when you know <laughs> if not now when let's deal with this hair a little bit more <laughs> so it looks more wild just when i get out the headband let's do something kind of wild with the hair a little more fire and icy <laughs> Something fun. Something like that. <laughs> if I had a, maybe I'll find a blue earring and put it on this side, or a bluish green earring and put it on this side, and put a red earring on that side. <laughs> For the pictures. <laughs> I had my hair on a bun all day. Um, one of those 
doing stuff days. <laughs> but, you know, this is, like, fun for me. You know, it's like therapy. If you sit down and do your makeup, you can't think of anything else, especially like this, because, you like, I have to really concentrate on what brush has this, what brush has that, what's, what, what's doing here, and that. And um, so you it kind of, like, you take your mind off your problem. It definitely is. They, they're now saying that makeup helps you de-stress and, um, you know, it definitely, it helps you take your mind off your problems and takes your mind off of your, um, you know, you have to, you can't think about anything else, you know. So. Uh, hadn't done anything artsy, 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 <laughs> artsy fartsy. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't done anything artsy in a while, so what do you think? Okay, maybe, you know, that I'm looking at it from here. It's always funny. For this angle, the other angle, I think I'm okay. But then when I do this angle, then I can clean, really clean it up and see all the things that I clean up when, like, usually I, I'll do my makeup really great here with this kind of lighting. But let me tell you, when I go into the car, if I'm, like, doing my makeup to go out, and then I end up, like, oh, I need to blend this and change that and this and that. <laughs> Maybe put a little bit of that orange in here. Yep, that's something we're missing. Got a lot of green on this side, so I want more blue on this side and more orange on this side. Right? Right. Here, do this side with the blue. <laughs> so, okay, so yeah, did a little bit of Anastasia, did a little bit of the NYX, did the two NYX palettes. Um, what, what else did I do? I did um, Avon, two Avon kits. The Avon blush. This is the thing, yeah. the Avon blush kit and the retro blush kit and the Christmas palette. The Christmas palette is still available on my website, and this palette. I'm not sure if this palette is. But this is but the the Christmas palette and this palette were, are in the outlet. You can find these in the outlet section. Very very reasonable. And okay. let's do a little dusting with this champagne over the whole thing, just to give it a little bit extra, a little bit extra, because I'm extra, a little bit of extra punch, a little bit of extra finishing over the whole thing. There we go little extra highlight, little extra, just a little extra, extra. <laughs> it's all an extra. Did he actually leave? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Mysteries. Mysteries. <laughs> Mysteries and scandals, huh? <laughs> no scandals here. <laughs> Let's, hope not. Let's do a little bit of white here. Oh no, he's still here. I can hear his tablet. Let's do a little bit of this. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I hope you all had fun with me doing this and being silly and playing with this and having some fun here. And, um, you know, it's, it's good to get out of our boxes. You know, it's good to try something new. Sometimes you need to try something new. Get out of your rut. If you feel like you're in a financial rut, you know, Avon might be 
a, a good way for you to, you know, bring in some, bring in a new source of income in your household, you know. It only costs $30 to join. It's amazing. You get your choice of three different kits. Plus, right now, they have these amazing things that you, your first six, six campaigns, which is every two weeks, so that's, 12 weeks, your first 12 weeks with the company, you have these special things that you offer your clients that, uh, you know, you, that, that helps kick start kick your business. And then they have something called Avon U that gives you free training. You'll have free training from me. Um, that's, you know, a license. Not many people can sign up and get like become, you know, tricks, uh, learn tricks from a licensed cosmetologist that, with 36 years experience, you know, some people are just learning, Oh, okay. I'll sell bubble bath. This is how I sell bubble bath. But if you want to like, you know, be able to do parties and maybe get makeovers and, and, you know, do stuff like that, you know, Avon, you know, not only is doing makeup, but you know, we've got, you know, everything from men's fragrances to, um, you know, uh, bubble bath, there's fashion, there's jewelry, there's all kinds of fabulous things to help you with your business because there are a lot of people who aren't makeup people and that's something I realized and for every person that's not a makeup person they might need to buy deodorant they might need to buy uh, you know some jewelry or a Mother's Day gift or you know we now we've got Father's Day coming up you know um, or want to support the help support uh, the Avon breast cancer walk and might you know want to buy a, you know a cute tote bag to help support breast cancer uh, research and and uh, those kinds of things so there's like a whole world of things within Avon um, you know don't it's not you're just your grandmother's brand you know I just showed how you can do some something fun some funky things with it even incorporating things that you might have those other pa those other brands palettes so you know so, um, stay open, you know, it's come a long way. We do a lot of different fun things and, you know, we've got a big spring fling coming up in June, which is like our first like local event. So you get to meet other reps and, and network with them and, you know, and find out like their business tools and all kinds of fun stuff. You know, I'm over, I'm learned more in just two months just from this and, you know, it's amazing how you change and grow, you know, and, um, it's more than just, just putting books around like we used to. A lot of it's online. You can, you know, hardly ever leave the house and you can boot, have a great business. So anyway, I hope you, um, you know, might want to join my team and think about that and, you know, have, play around, get out of your own box too. Hey, Pam, how are you? <laughs> Just did a fire and ice look. So <laughs> something different, something fun, you know, <laughs> got to have fun once in a while, you know. And, um, hey, <laughs> so, you know, it's always good to get out of your own, not only get out of your box, but get out of your own way and stop. Don't say no, say yes, and be open to some new, some new challenges and, uh, you know, some new experiences. And that, this was a new experience for me. This was a growth experience, you know, learning how to just do one side and not just naturally go over here and knowing that I had to do this. So, um, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and if you have any questions, about the products or how I did this or or you know questions about the opportunity you know just message me or message me you know anytime and uh, thanks so much for your support always and I'll see you next time bye